Hello. So, this is kind of serious, so hard to follow that, but um, what I'd like to share with you is a few poems that I've written. And so it, it kind of teeters on the edge of talent. You might say it's talent in writing, but I haven't really rehearsed them, so it's more just reading, public speaking. And so, um, I find a cool place to find inspiration for my poetry is in scripture, and so a lot of it just comes directly out of some passages. Uh, the first poem, I'm going to read three of them, and actually, the guys in our uh, ministry skills time, I, I taught them to, to snap, to keep it a little bit quieter, and that's really because I've seen some poetry things before, and that's how they show silent appreciation, so I've got three, so if you want to snap in between them, that'd be cool, and that, that's never happened for me before, so. <laughs> the, the first poem is inspired by Luke chapter 23, verse 10 where it says the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. Questioned to great extent, scribes and priests, vehement, by soldiers treated with contempt who won't relent till Satan's arrows spent, the man, silent, came and went. Thanks. Second poem, um, inspired by Matthew 27, 24, and the context around it. It says, when Pilate saw that he could prevail, could not prevail at all, but rather that a tumult was rising, he took water and washed his hand before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. You see to it. Pilate proved himself a coward when he tried Emmanuel. The verdict guilty so absurd, his attempts the crowd to quell. Up to Herod, Christ he sent, Jesus was from Galilee. No decision, back he went. Still, Pilate no fault could see. High priest cry, no friend of Caesar is a king on Roman lands. Crucify him, loudly jeer. Pilate calmly washed his hands. Released Barabbas, the rebel, soldiers led Jesus away. Simon, a foreigner, they compel Jesus' cross to convey. Pilate proved himself a coward when he judged Emmanuel. Stand for Christ and be empowered. Speak and of his glories tell. The last poem comes from Acts chapter 17. Paul is giving uh, a little sermon here, verses 24 to 31. The God who made the worlds and all within does not live in temples made by men, nor is he worshiped by what they create, for he appointed every person's fate. Now all should seek the Lord and hope to find a faithful friend who is both just and kind. For it's in him we all do have our being. As some poets say, we are his offspring. These times of ignorance he does overlook, the worthless idols his right glory took. But soon will be the day when he who rose will come to judge all his unwitting foes.